Hello everyone and welcome back for another show and tell episode. And for today's episode, ang ipapakita ko sa inyo is about your own URL shortener or in short, yours. And in this episode, ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano mag-create ng sarili niyong branded URL shortener. Second is, ano ba yung mga benefits of having a URL shortener? Of course, yung two ways how to create your own URL shortener. Either using yung cPanel sa hosting server niyo or doing it manually like the download yung script then i-upload din niyo sa inyong server. If ready na kayo, then let's start. So, na-experience niyo ba na makakita sa mga campaigns na may makikita kayong bit.ly or tinyurl.com or puff.ly or google.gl or o.ly Marami pang ibang examples pero mostly sa mga campaigns may kita nyo yung mga shorten URLs na ganyan. So, ano-ano ba yung mga shorten URLs na ito? So, first is yung bit.ly. Pwede kang mag-create ng sarili mong shorten URL. And, pwede mo yun i-brand using your own customized domain. Another is yung tinyurl.com. Lalagay mo lang dyan yung uh, URL mo and then magiging tinyurl.com slash kung ano yung uh, campaign na yun. Another is yung o.ly. This is produced by Footsuit. And yan yung mga ginagamit when sharing your campaigns in social media, lalo na kapag magamit ka din itong Footsuit. So, o.ly. Then, another is yung Buffly. So, pag binisit natin, Buffly, it's produced by Buffer buffer.com and another is yung google which is produced by google ano ba yung mga benefits on creating your own url shortener one is para mas madaling matandaan it's because sobrang haba instead of let's say asensohub.com slash how to create your own URL shorter, yung spaces, uh, dasha. And instead of typing those out, pwede kong sabihin lang accessohub.com slash yours. Yun lang. And easy to remember siya for longer links, lalo na kung gumagamit ng UTMs. Yung UTMs na to, ito yung sa Google kinagamit, source, medium, campaign, term, and content kinagamit natin itong mga tracking parameters para ma-personalize yung Google Analytics natin. And third, syempre, to boost your brand para mas makilala. Instead of using bit.ly, tinyurl, buff.ly, syempre gusto natin mas makilala yung brand natin. And we have to use our own URL shortener branded natin. And but least matatandaan ng mga tao yung link na binigay natin. Ano ba yung yours? So, yours is a small set of PHP script. Ayan, code siya na gumagawa siya ng sariling URL shortener service. Katulad siya ng bit.ly time, URL and mga binanggit ko pang iba. But, using your own domain. Gamit mo your own domain. Like sa bit.ly, pwede mo i-connect yung sarili mong domain. Sa yours, pwede din. Open source naman siya, libre siya private siya, pwede rin public. Gusto mo kumuha ng sariling bit.ly or tiny URL, pwede naman. I personally use it for private links. Like, for my branded website, for my website, I use a different shorten URL para mas ma daling matandaan and all. Especially when I'm sharing campaigns or contents na gusto kong i-share, I'll just share that shorten URL. Ano pa ba yung mga example ng URL shorten so, Let's give an example, like, um, hindi ko alam kung ginagamit nyo ito, pero ako ginagamit ito. fb.com, a short for facebook.com. 
simply kung gusto niyo mag-log in instead of typing facebook.com ang itatype mo lang is facebook.com ayan link na siya sa facebook.com another example that I'm using is ito pinakaan madali sa lahat m.me when I type m.me it will redirect me to my messenger mabubuksan na agad yung messenger ko sa browser another example is yung so WordPress, instead of typing the full name of WordPress.com, natay po lang wp.me and will redirect you to WordPress.com. Another uh, that I use is Gco. Ano yung Gco? That's Google.com. So if I visit Gco, it will not redirect to Google.com, but it will tell you na it's the official URL shortcut for Google website or Google products. So, paano mo siya gagamitin? Ako ginagamit ko siya, let's say, na type ko, kailangan ko is yung Word document or yung docs. g.co.docs And it will bring me to the document. If I want to um, go to the spreadsheet, I'll go to g.co.sheets and it will redirect me to the Google Sheets. G that ko, uh, let's say, ito bang product, uh, Analytics. It will bring me to the Google Analytics platform. Another one is G that ko, let's say, Tag Manager. And it will bring me to the Google Tag Manager platform. And that's, um, branded shorten URL for the Google products. Another example is the YouTube YouTube.b YouTube. It's YouTube. It will bring me to YouTube.com. And makikita nyo if you're sharing your YouTube contents usually makikita nyo yung short URL which is YouTube that b slash random characters and it is yung share niyo sa mga uh, social media niyo or website niyo and it's a short URL these are some examples ng short URL na mostly familiar kayo let's give another example of um, branded short URL put sa social media is mga companies that uses short URL. So, one example is yung peps, pep.c. It will bring you to their website, pepsi.com. Ito, pinakakilala na lahat. sbox.co. Alam nyo? And it will bring you, lalo na Pasko ngayon, Christmas is coming, starbucks.com. These are just example of companies na gumagamit ng shortened URL or branded URL shortener. Makikita nyo yan usually sa mga campaigns nila in social media. Especially dun sa mga platforms na limited lang yung characters na pwedeng share. Like twitter.com. Sobrang limited yung characters na. That's why we use shortened URLs para mapaikli yung link na sinishare natin redirecting it to a specific content na gusto talaga natin to share. Before we create our own URL shortener, make sure na meron ka ng uh, sariling domain. Uh, for my side, I use namechimp.com for creating my domain and you can see my previous show and tell episode for this topic about name change. Make sure lang na meron ka ng sariling dami. Then you can proceed on trade. One. Next is, I'm going to share you is how to create your own URL shortener. Yung unang way. The first way is, pinakmadali sa lahat, is using yung cPanel nyo in your hosting server. Under your cPanel, is hahanapin ko yung software or softaculous app installer. Then, sa left pane, hanapin nyo yung others, then select nyo yung yours. If 
hindi nyo nakita yung yours under others, contact nyo yung administrator nyo and request to activate it. In my end, pina-activate ko lang yun. Dahil previously, wala siya sa left pane. Kasi hindi ko siya makita. Then, I asked my hosting provider. In-inquire ko siya sa support. Then, eventually, um, naka-deactivate -de pala siya. Parang per request siya. Hindi, usually, hindi nila ini-install yun. Lalo na kung hindi naman ginagana. So, in my end, pina-activate ko lang. So, if it's not available sa side mo, then just contact your support team ng hosting server nyo and request to and hanapin nyo yung yours. So, basically, papa-activate lang doon nila yun. Then, once the yours open, ito yung makikita nyo. All you need is just click the install now button. Then, select nyo yung domain or yung URL shortener domain na kinreate nyo. Then, so directly, I'll just use none. Ibig sabihin para hindi siya mag-create ng sariling folder and mapupunta lang siya sa empty directory. mag install lang siya under http slash yung domain ko. That's why dinilip ko yung directory. Then, site name. Then, site name, um, maglagay ka lang ng kahit ano. Hindi naman siya important. So, admin account, uh, just type a username and a password. Depende sa'yo kung ano username and password mo. Then, of course, your first name, last name, and your admin email para dito mapupunta lahat ng mga emails regarding update on this um, app. Then, just click the install button. Then, once Pag-click nyo na install button, it will install mga like 2 to 3 minutes lang yan. Sobrang bilis lang yan. And your URL shortener is available at your own domain slash the admin. Ibig sabihin ito yung dashboard. Then just log in your username and password na nilagay mo dun sa previous setup. Then yun na. Naka-install na yung your sa domain na yun. Sobrang dali lang pag galit nyo yung cPanel using your hosting server. Pero, what if you're using your hosting uh, server uh, without the cPanel? As in, hard code yung kailangan. I suggest this second way of creating or installing your yours sa website mo. For this example, I'll be using a sensor. Next is, kita tayo sa yours. I-download natin yung search code. Scroll down lang natin. Then, download yours. So, right click natin. Yung source code niya is nasa GitHub. And, make sure na ang isa-select niyo yung updated source code is yung merong latest release and verify. Choose niyo lang yung source code zip. So, click niyo lang yun. Then, isi-save niya sa isang uh, document. So, in my end, zip ko lang. Then, ito-download niya. Then, next, open na natin folder na yun. Then, extract lang natin. Extract all. Then, extract. Wait lang natin na mag-extract lahat ng documents into that folder. Nag-create na siya ng sarilyang folder with all the extracted files. And, nag-open siya ng bago. So, close lang natin yun. So, ito yung bagong uh, extracted folder. Open lang natin yun. Then, under user, so select natin yung user. Then, config sample. So, right click, then copy. Iduplicate lang natin siya. Then, yung copy is i-delete natin. So, magiging config.php na lang siya. Right click, then open with notepad. Usually, pag hindi developer, uh, in-open lang siya using Notepad. Mas easier siya kasi available siya sa lahat ng uh, desktop or laptop. In my end, since uh, usually nag edit ako ng mga codes, is i-open ko lang siya sa Visual Studio Code. It's because for me, mas easier siya. And 
mas makulay kasi siya. So, nakikita ko kagad kung ano yung i-edit. So, for this example, I'll just use itong Visual Studio Code. I-update natin yan later. Next is, magda tayo kay Cloudways. So, ano yung Cloudways? Close natin. So, ano yung Cloudways? Ito yung hosting server na gagamitin natin. Let's create a new application. Meron na akong sariling uh, server. So, meron na rin akong three existing na application. For this example, magkikrate tayo ng another application. So, add application. Then, under PHP custom app. Select natin yung cloud. Name natin siya as a sense of X. Then, project. Add application. So, wait lang natin mga 2 minutes daw mag-approximate para makapag-create siya ng bagong application. Once nandun na siya mag-install, Click natin yung generate natin application name. And pag-open yung credentials niya. So, ito yung i-access natin for the database. So, first is balik tayo dun sa ating VS Code or yung code ng config.php. Then, palitan natin yung database user. Ito yung username. Then, password. Then, database name. Local host. Local host. Yours. This yung pa din siya. Then, yung your site. Palitan natin ito ng domain natin based dun sa uh, kinreate natin or niregister natin. So, in this end is asenso.tips asenso.tips Then, make sure lang na nakatulog lahat. Then, your cookie. So, itong your cookie i-identify natin by going back sa yours.org na website. Under config, then yours.org cookie. So, right click, open link in the tab para mag-generate siya ng code. It's either, copy natin siya ng buo or just copy this code. So, in my end, copy ko na lang para save. So, copy. Then, replace natin to. Paste. Then, username, password. Tap lang natin. Admin. Ito, dupo ka lang natin admin password. Uh, just temporary for this specific um, sample. Admin, admin password. Okay. Then, save. File, save. Or control S. Then, close na natin yun. Close na natin din tong your cookie URL. Then, next is Balik tayo sa Cloudways. Then, ito yung um, IP address. So, tanda natin yung uh, database name is this one. So, balik tayo sa server. Then, click natin yung server name natin. Then, yung master credentials. So, yung master credentials, syempre, hidden siya. Kasi, access ko siya. Punta tayo sa file scene na para mag-upload ng mga files. So, gamit itong host. So, public IP. Copy natin yun. Then, paste. Then, username. Click lang natin para makapi. Then, paste. Password. Copy. Then, paste. Then, tutu. Yung port is tutu. Always. Then, quick connect. And wait lang natin makonect. So, once na na-connect na siya, then, ito na yung uh, 
server natin. So, under application, select natin yung clean rate natin dito. Base. So, which is ito. So, double click. Then, folder public HTML. Double click ulit para ma-open yung folder na yun. So, ito na yung uh, kung saan tayo maglilipat ng mga files. And then, balik tayo din sa user. Then, yung folder niya. Itong folder na to, itong address na to, makopy natin para i-paste natin dito. Para ma-open yung file na yun. So, ito na yung file na yun. And, ito yung file na yun. Lahat. So, ang gagawin natin is select all natin, control A, then drag or upload. Make sure na naka-open na yung file para ililipat niya lang from this left side, yung local files to the server files dito sa right side. Then, wait lang natin siya matapos. Ito yung mga successful transfer kung ilan na. Ito naman yung total files ng ina-upload niya. So, dapat maging uh, blank or zero. And, malipat lahat. Dito. So, mga around 500 plus siguro yung uh, files dito. And, wait lang natin na maging uh, successful transfer. So, while waiting for that transfer, balik tayo sa Cloudways. So, sa Cloudways, balik tayo sa ating application. Then, select natin yung generate natin application. Then, under domain management. Enter natin dito yung domain natin. So, which is a sensor tips. Ayan, sensor that tips. Then, save changes. Ayan. So, application domain has been updated. So, okay na yung uh, domain natin. So, pag bumalik tayo dito sa access to details, dapat under application URL is yung URL na natin. So, next is itong application credentials. Copy lang natin. Then, balik tayo din sa domain register natin. So, sa domain register, manage natin. So, click manage. Then, yung advanced DNS. Then, papalitan natin yung mga type dito. So, delete lang na uh, add yung record muna tayo. A record. Then, at sign. Then, yung IP address na kinapin natin sa Cloudways. Then, automatic save changes. Then, delete natin tong iba. Then, add new record ulit tayo. E-record. www. Then, paste. Then, check. So, dapat itong dalawa lang yung matinara for the um, E-record or the host records. So, to check, punta tayo sa what's my dns.net. Then, inalagay natin yung URL natin dito, which is ito, asenso.pics, then search. So, hindi pa siya kompleto. Ibig sabihin, kailangan natin siya na mag-propagate. So, dapat naka-check mark na ito, halos lahat. So, balik tayo sa filezilla natin. Medyo malapit na siya. And once na naubos na yung queued files, nandito na lahat sa successful transfers. And may prompt na siya ng directory listing. 
database name, public HTML, and then successful. Once na okay na yan lahat, try natin check ulit itong DNS. So, may mga port pa na hindi okay. So, let's try to access it. Close muna natin. Then, open tayo ng new tab. Slash add. So, enter lang natin. Sensor.tip slash add. And, dapat ma-access natin yung install.ph. Then, next is install.yours. At pag click natin, automatically mag-create mo siya ng mga database. Then, yours administration page. Mag ilalagay natin yung nilagay natin password. So, admin slash admin password. Log in. And, ayan. So, automatic Andiyan na yung Lord. So, pwede ka na mag-create ng short URL. Example, um, yung YouTube. Subscribe. So, list lang natin yung link dyan. Then, lagay lang natin this. YouTube. Then, shorten the URL. Success added to database and ang short URL na niya ngayon is HTTP Sensor.tips So, kapag pinapin natin yun at pinaste natin siya sa another browser Let's see And gumana ang ating sample URL at dahil dyan, nireach the end of this episode I hope marami kayong natutunan and hoping na makagawa rin kayo ng sarili mo branded short end URL so, kapag nagustuhan mo ang video na to, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon para ma-notify ka sa next episodes ko. Don't forget also to comment, like, and share this video and hope to see you on my next episodes. God bless everyone!